Mark, it's Sarah, my name is Elke Jan Wiersma and today I have uh, another blooming update and this time for the month of July 2023 and we are starting with the Pinocchio, Pafio Pedlum, Pinocchio Alba, still in bloom, as you can see a very long spike, a sequential bloomer and yeah this one is a very nice, very beautiful colors and shape on there. So that's the first one. And uh, let's move over here. To check, but that one is done blooming. That's that beautiful orange one. There's some blooms left, but as you can see, it's really uh, done blooming. And before I go to the other side, this is the best shot for my Psychopsis butterfly. Very strange, but a uh, beautiful bloom, if you ask me. If you open it up a little bit like that so that's the second one now we need to go to the other side you probably saw it on a in the background but look at this two very very large spikes on this odontoglossum bialara type i don't have a name for it but it is absolutely beautiful very heavy spike with all those fairly large blooms beautiful colors looks absolutely amazing i know i'm sorry the background is a little bit light the sun is just shining at the moment but i hope you did get a good view and over to this side it's a new one well i had it before in bloom but it just opened up these beautiful blooms also a fairly large spike and this is the Odontoglossum Carla. So this is Carla. Beautiful. And like I said, also a very long spike. Heavy, as you can see. <laughs> so, and then let me go over here. I have no name for it. Maybe it's a Wildcat Garfield, maybe? I'm not sure. If you have this one, or you have the Garfield, maybe you uh, want to let me know if this is the same one, but the colors are very similar. And also a beautiful, fairly long spike. Absolutely nice, strong colors on there. So let's go over here. We have some uh, Zygos, Zygonicias in bloom. It's a beautiful purple one is in spike in bloom sorry also a spike there in the background and i have another one here this is about to open up and there in the back i hope you can see it so we have four spikes yeah probably another one here i see two spikes here but it will be for in another video when those open up a beautiful one and then we have this one about those two from Landsbergen, same order. And this is probably the um, Zygopetalum Impesto Blue. Not 100% sure, but I think it's this one. Absolutely beautiful, and you can see. <laughs> we have a few blooms here, but there are several spikes on here as well. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one new growth has four spikes. But yeah, beautiful blooms. They look very nice, I think. Then down here, we still have a fairly nice bloom on the Altmar. The rest is going over now. But also very beautiful and next to it we have this beautiful not only opposite yeah i need to clean those uh, old uh, <laughs> flowers on the floor this one has two spikes open currently these leaves are from an older growth so no, don't think it's not doing well it's doing okay it's just uh, that's what happens over time beautiful fragrance and another spike here and this one I just repotted. That's the one I did get from Inse. 
those is that one is still in bloom so those are not my blooms so to speak <laughs> now over here look at this more meltonia abscesses absolutely beautiful and even over here <laughs> and here absolutely beautiful a lot of blooms the avium this is the odontoglossum the avium beautiful long spike here as well a beautiful delicate blooms not big not very small nice shape to them and it has another spike so that'll be probably my next update as well and above that we have this beautiful miltoniopsis blooming And next to this one, we have still a few good blooms on the Brectus Brilliant. Almost going over now, I think, but these are still uh, still very nice. Then on the same shelf, we have this. Her Alexander has still one bloom. Very, very pretty. And above here, the upper shelf we have this one just starting to open up this is the second time this season that this one blooms this one grows very very well for me and blooms are red daughters as well of course <laughs> don't get me wrong those two but those just bloom once every year so far but this one uh, is the second time and this one is hasn't been blooming for about two years sadly i th these were a little bit stuck but look at this it's nonetheless still beautiful two blooms as you can see so that one decided to bloom let me uh, have a look as you can see it's a little bit stuck between the leaves there but also very beautiful very beautiful let me check quickly check yeah that is it over here blooming wise so let's get over to the greenhouse and i have several special ones there as well blooming but let's start with this one <laughs> the epidendrum still in bloom and yeah, they are moving because it's fairly warm in the greenhouse so i have my uh, ventilator on more epidendrum blooms yellow and orange so yeah i just shut off the ventilators i hope it's a little bit uh, easier to film because then they don't move around as much of course and it's not an orchid but i just want to show you guys this is my hoya shooting star and look at those blooms i found that name so suited for this one shooting stars if you look at like this beautiful absolutely beautiful and it's making more buds as you can see over here so i saw this one for the first time at uh jossie's channel and orchids by the lake so i bought it and I thought, well, I'm not sure if it's doing well, but then it started really to grow and it's already in, in, in bot, uh, blooming, I should say. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So that's a Hoya shooting star. I'm not really into Hoyas, but I saw this one and I thought, yeah, I'm, uh, I really want that one. It's so beautiful. And I did find it. So I'm very happy with that. And uh, let's get over here where we have this Vanda. This van is a gift from Inse as well. And yeah, it's going over, but we still have quite some uh, blooms over here that are still very pretty. And it's already uh, making a new spike, as you can see. So soon it will uh, be in a blooming update again with a new spike. And then next to it, this van, uh, this beautiful yellow one. Absolutely a huge favorite. I love these blooms. One of my oldest bananas. Absolutely beautiful. And then down here, you guys, this is 
very nice as well. <laughs> one of my thighs is, is started to bloom. This one is also from Landsberg, and I hope you can see it. It's a little bit difficult to film. There are more blooms to come, as you can see. I just started opening up this one. And I have a beep in the background. Let me check that quickly. <laughs> so the beep is gone. <laughs> That's my fires. And while we're at in yeah, well we're in this corner, I should say, this is the Boba Phylum Wilbur Chain with another bloom over here. Beautiful, but it has another one over here. Look at that. I finally did good blooms on this one. Absolutely beautiful. It did grow fairly well. And I think I found the right spot for it here in this uh, greenhouse. So yeah, two beautiful spikes on that one. And sadly, I'm a little bit too late for this one to film. It's my sea breeze. As you can see, it's starting to get over already. But yeah, I just didn't have the time to film this one. But I really enjoyed it. These blooms are so beautiful and fairly big, as you can see. But but you guys, next to it, I have something incredibly beautiful, I think. Here we go. Look at this one. That yellow, which I love, the dark red, but that lip, those details, a very large lip. And this is the name for this one. Brasso Catlea Kiwi V Galaxy or Vi V. This is a uh, the first time bloomer for me. Absolutely stunning. If you ask me. Let me go back a little bit. Absolutely beautiful. And like I said, the lip is stunning. Stunning. So yeah, also too late for this one, sadly. But that is how it goes sometimes. Golden Peacock had also some trips on it, but I think we have some good blooms as well, luckily. Beautiful orange color. And this one, same story. It's done blooming. It was the first time. It's the Amethyst. And it had two blooms. We have another one here. Just, just fall off. So yeah. It's the... Uh, Brassolalia, I think it's re reclassified already. It's a new name, but I still have it as a Brassolalia amethyst. But also a first time bloomer, beautiful, absolutely stunning, these blooms. Absolutely beautiful. So that is here in my Catalea corner. Then, of course, we have the fells. Quite some blooms, and I'm still impressed by this white one. It's blooms are so big I had no idea and this is the Maya I believe let me quickly check no I'm sorry it's not Maya it's Karen Karen Alba these were already here but these just open up it has another spike let me zoom in because those colors are very vibrant look at that isn't it beautiful I love it absolutely beautiful Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, we have some red tones over here. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and this one, this is a summer bloomer. It's a uh, gift, this is the name for it, if you want to know. And these are the blooms. Also very beautiful. Very beautiful. I hope a camera does well with the colors. Those Pink or red colors are not always easy to film, but as, as far as I can see, they do well. This is like casted old leaves, so nothing, on the, nothing wrong. It has beautiful new leaves. <laughs> it doesn't look right, but I let the orchid uh, eat those leaves before I cut them off. So that's why uh, those are looking a little bit... Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. This is the Maya down here. This is called Maya. So yeah. Some looms over here. Let's get over here because I have, well, actually, before I do, this one, as you can see, it has some trip marks and thrip marks. It's because I have those the door open all the time. 
That's a price I pay just with the uh, aphids. I keep getting them in, but I need a fresh air. So I need to stay on top with uh, spraying and not, most of the times I do, as you can see. Most of the blooms are fine, but sometimes it's just a little bit too late. Like I said, it's a price that I paid. I, uh, I'm okay with it. Otherwise it's way too warm here, <laughs> but I need a door open, like I said. But anyhow, it's, uh, let me try it this way so we don't have that big uh, backdrop there. Look at this spike. It's a Dendrobium phenoliopsis probably recognize this this one never had such a huge spike on it stunning absolutely stunning and down here we have another dendrobium family up this is the Anna green and green is always a bit struggling for me it does make a new growth I thought I was losing it but it's it's making a new growth and it's starting to bloom again so hopefully I don't lose it because I really love that green and that purple together in these blooms. And this one I did forget the last time I did a blooming update because it already had these blooms in there. Let me zoom in here in the middle. But we have more now there. It's the Hibiki. Oh, I'm sorry. Try to zoom in. Look at that. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Uh, and up here I have my ruby doll, Sherry Baby ruby doll, in bloom. So very, and the fragrance is absolutely fantastic. And the blooms, this one has a little bit more red in the blooms. That's why I bought it, because I like that. Even though I like the more original one as well. These are already going over. So you can see that's why they are a little bit brown colored. But in the back, we can see it. there's a spike there's another spike so we will have more blooms of these guys then the drobium family ups is um, blue happiness it's a commercial name I, I think let me I'm sorry I hope I can it's a bit difficult to film I'm sorry for that I not sure how well it did uh, show up and next to it another one with a no ID. This one is always blooming. Basically, it feels like it's always. It's the longest. It takes uh, keeps the bloom the longest. Very beautiful. And you can see that spike. Yeah, I'm sorry for the wire. This spike is really uh, top heavy. I believe. Let me zoom in. Yeah, I really really enjoy these blooms as well. Very beautiful. And you can see here and there some spikes and we have more blooms to come. I still have my uh, Nora Takanare in bloom. These were already there. I did repot it and it kept on blooming. It had some, it had a few more blooms. So it's almost going over, but I think this is, these are still looking fine. Next to it, also a Dendrobium Penelopsis type. And this one is the uh, Puff. 58 yellow. It's a bit strange name. I hope you can see it. But it is this one. Yeah, I really, really like this one. And also fairly uh, some blooms, well, some buds, but you get quite a nice spike on this one as well. And down here I have some nobly still in bloom. Like my prima donna started to make. Some more buds and to open them up. Fairly, fairly large blooms. Yeah, I really, really like these guys. And next to it we have this one. Also decided to uh, open up some uh, more blooms. Yeah, I'm sorry for the insectus, insects here. <laughs> it's an old one, but anyhow, it's not really pretty next to these beautiful blooms, but. Please try to focus on the blooms. <laughs> and this is, let me grab the tag. That one has a name as well. Oh, and I see, before I forget, I have even some new blooms on this one. It's the Rainbow Dance. Let me focus on this one. Very nice purple 
colored blooms. So yeah, still some uh, nobly blooms here. And then we have the fairly famous mystic maze here. Uh, let me take well, this one is better to pick for the close up. And next to it, just opening up the blooms, the billabong. Also very beautiful, very beautiful. And a very long spike. As you can see, this is the biggest spike. There we go, all the way up. So that's why those are on the floor. <laughs> and here behind my ventilator, we have green parrots is called this is this one uh, called so very beautiful nice colored blooms spidery type blooms and i have here my um uh Shalop tolkien and again i'm struggling with the light i apologize uh let me adjust my camera a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, this may be a, probably a, the best shot. Yeah, like this. And those are the smallest blooms, but I wanted to show you that this one, I had no idea that it's, it's very, very large blooms actually. Yeah, Shalop Tolkien. Okay, then next to this one. Oh, my hands are, my fingers are now sticky from the happy sap. But look at this. I'm going to show you guys. I hope you can see how many spikes <laughs> Ragnilia has. And it has just just been opening up uh, her first blooms. But we have a lot of spikes. I think last year we had some 20, 23 or 24. I think we have probably the same amount of spikes. But look at those blooms. Very pretty, I think. Very pretty. This one is uh, facing upside down. <laughs> and then we have here another one at the back, just up the top. But yeah, what the spikes. And more Miltonias are doing that. This one is all as well. It has not a bloom open yet, but you can see the amount of spikes. So that will be a good show as well. This is. Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, a sunset, as you probably reckon. But this one is uh, still has its bloom, but it was very warm and a lot of sun, so they are a bit faded out. But I, I must admit, I, I kind of like them like this. And as you can see, some buds, so we will have some fresh one in the near future. And then this I really enjoy as well. It's no idea, also a sunset type, a crush, but it's a red instead of that pink we have the original sunset next to it this is the uh, original sunset as it should be and um, yeah this one is very similar blooms are a little bit smaller but that the colors I really enjoy it absolutely enjoy it I never saw this one before for sale and then over here <laughs> Morigliane as you can see, spikes, spikes, spikes. This is a purple one. I hope you can see them. Spikes. So yeah, this is going to be a beautiful corner in the near future, I believe. Very large Miltonias with uh, quite some spikes. And this one is fairly new. Also started to bloom again. Beautiful. I really like those purple tones in this one. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, before I forget, this is probably the last one. Um, it's the Orange Delight. Whoops. Yeah, look at that. I love this one. That yellow orange color, it's so beautiful. Those shapes of the blooms. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And it has another spike here, and it has another one opening up there. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. 
and I see there in the corner another bud. It's another plant. In if you watch this video, you have a piece of this one. So <laughs> maybe yours is uh, blooming soon as well. But anyhow, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Orange delight. Let me uh, stand up again and have a quick look. Like I said, I, I really always forget something. Quickly check. Yeah, you see, this is the purple happiness. We didn't see this one up close. This purple is so dark and intense. Rich, I call it rich. <laughs> I hope you can see it. Once again, the backdrop is a bit uh, bright. <laughs> That's the word because of the sun, but yeah, beautiful one. It's like I said, purple happiness. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think we did most of them. Beautiful yellow one over here. Uh, tick, 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 tick. Check, yeah. Well, I'm showing you around. Yeah, this is it. I think I really covered them all. <laughs> so that's something new. Yeah, I'm going to uh, stop this video with this beautiful yellow wind. Uh, absolutely stunning. So you guys, this is my uh, update for the month of July. Uh, I think we had quite some uh, interesting new blooms. I really, really uh, uh, enjoy this time of year. Uh, I think I... I I have quite some, some blooms most of the times, but yeah, when it's warmer, you get those Cattleya types, the Miltonias, which I really enjoy as well, and the Vendors, of course. Anyhow, thank you so much. If you have any questions or something like that, please let me know in the uh, comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a uh, thumbs up. Maybe you want to share it. That would be awesome as well. And of course, if you didn't already have, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and of course I really really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye!